happy Thursday. Welcome back for our daily challenges. We're officially on day six. We're gonna jump right into our mindfulness challenge. For our mindfulness challenge today, we're gonna try an exercise that involves you and then somebody else that lives in your home with you. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do. You are gonna find a wall that you can sit up against. It does have to be a wall. So you're gonna sit up against the wall with your back flat against it and scoot your butt as close to the wall as you can. Then you're going to bring your feet close to your butt so your knees are bent. Now, the part that you're gonna have somebody else do, maybe a mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whoever is at your house, have them come over and they're going to press down on your knees. I can't do it because I'm only one person, but the person that would be doing this would be standing right beside you and they'll press down on your knees. I want you to tell me how that feels, if it relaxes you or if it gives you a lot of energy. For our social skills challenge, yesterday we thought of all the things that make us nervous or frustrated or stressed or worried about distance learning. Today, I want you to take one of those things that you thought of that made you frustrated or stressed or worried, and I want you to think of things you can do to help yourself not feel as stressed or worried. So I'm gonna give you an example. So one thing that makes me feel stressed or worried or nervous is having a huge to-do list. So right now, Miss China has so many things that she needs to get done because there's a lot of things to do with distance learning. But one thing that helps me is if I write down everything I need to do on a list so then I can check it off so I know what's done and what needs to be done. Now it's your turn. I want you to think of some strategies that you can use to help you when you're frustrated or stressed during distance learning. Maybe it's making a list. Maybe it's asking for help from mom or dad or brother or sister or auntie or uncle or your grandma or grandpa. Maybe it's taking some deep belly breaths to help calm your body. Maybe you need to exercise so you can kind of forget about what's going on for a minute. I want you to think of whatever works for you to help you when you're frustrated or stressed. Our last challenge or creativity challenge, I want you to either use markers, paint, or crayons. I want you to use whatever colors you want and I want you to put all of the colors together to make your own color. So you're going to mix colors that are already colors in your crayon box or in your markers or in your paint. You're gonna mix those colors together to create your own color. Once you create your own color, I want you to try and think of a name for it as well. If you're one of Miss China students, make sure to take a picture or a video and share it on Seesaw. When you take a picture or a video or a voice recording and share it on Seesaw, make sure you click the little plus sign when in the journal area, and you're gonna create your own journal entry and share it that way. Don't comment directly on the video because then you can't post as much. So create your own entry showing me your picture or video or voice recording of what you did for your challenges. I hope you have an awesome rest of your Tuesday. Miss China's losing her marbles. I hope you have an awesome rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow for our challenge day. Wow.